What is good, you guys? We are back with another Fit and Film episode. And today, so how this is going to be working, you know, it's going to be like a mock pick every single video I have. So today we're doing the second pick. The first pick with Kay Cunningham did insane 900 views or something like that. So hopefully we can keep that up and hopefully this series can do good. So anyway, with the second pick, I'm mock drafting the um, Jalen Green to go to the Houston Rockets because in my opinion, these days, a lead guard like Jalen Green is more important than a center like Evan Mobley. Both of them are really, really good players, and it's really good to toss it up in a hat, and both of them will be really, really good choices, but I just feel like a guard that can, at one point, at some point in his career, most likely will be able to average 25 points per game and be a decent ball handler, be a electric for the crowd, athletic guy is way, way more important for your team than a guy like Evan Mobley, although he is a really, really great player as well. So let's get into the fit and the film. With the Houston Rockets, they have a couple cool young players on the team. Jocelyn Tate is a nice, gritty player, uh, kind of like a P.J. Tucker, but I think a, will be a little bit better and is a little bit more skilled. Um, Kevin Porter Jr., I'm, guy, I'm very, very, very high on. Um, a guy that's kind of like Jalen Green in some ways. Super athletic, loves to get to the rim, um, loves to take difficult shots, all those type of things. And it's going to be interesting what's the fit like that if... Jalen Green goes there. Does Kevin Porter Jr. come off the bench? They play them together at the one and two, at the two and three. I'm not really sure how they would do that, but I think Kevin Porter Jr. should still be very, very important in their plans because he's a bucket as well. So it's going to be interesting how they work that out. You got Christian Wood at the four or five, whichever one you want. Kelly Olenek will probably be gone. And besides that, everybody else is really. Like, nobody cares. So, if they have Jalen Green, they really have only, like, four important players on the roster. Four players that you want to keep for the future. Tate, Green, Porter, and Wood. That's all y'all really got to worry about. Everybody else is really just filling out the roster for now. Rebuilding, letting the dudes get their work in, letting, letting them progress and develop, especially guys like Kevin Porter Jr. and Jalen Green. Because like I said, that fit's going to be interesting. Can one of them become better playmakers? Can they play a two and three? Are they good enough for that? They're probably not big enough for that. So probably they both in the backcourt or you bring Porter off the bench, which is interesting because... Porter is that dude too, in my opinion. He can be that guy as well. One thing you're going to get with Jalen Green is his electricity is insane. He's going to have a lot of fun and going to put people in the seats in Houston, man. Here's another one, man. Bro is going to be exciting. That's the one thing that I am not doubting about him, bro. One of the only things coming in the lane on his dome trying to get up, bro. He's trying to kill people like John Morant. He reminds me of Bradley Beal in a lot of ways with his athleticism, one, in his difficult shot making, and especially in the mid-range, and he also can obviously stretch it out to the three-point line. He has the ability to be a great number one scoring option in the league very, very early into going into the league. Here goes his shot creation right here, man. Step back three in his mouth. Elise Johnson, where you at, Brody? Come on, man. Here's another big difficult shot moment in his mouth step back see that's tough that's in transition too bro that's a lot of confidence the one reason why i don't think a kevin porter jr jalen green together would work is the playmaking thing and i'm about to show y'all why let's see at times jalen green has just as a suspect ball handle you know what i'm saying let's go back and see it again let's see just kind of losing the ball that's why I don't think he can be the full-time number one playmaker on the team. You know what I'm saying? He's not like like that yet. You feel me? Here's another one. Just uh, I don't even know where he was looking on that one. That was just that was suspect once again. That was my bro's acceleration and finishing getting to the basket, bro. The way that he can torch his body in the air, and gets there with a burst and acceleration is insane. Let's go watch it. This play right here. Just getting past him and finishing right over the big man, bro. That's the type of speed he has. Just getting the ball out of out of the basket, getting the ball passed into him, and just running down the court and beating everybody to the rim. And look at this tough finish right here, contouring his body. That is so tough, bro. He He's the best at that in the draft. 
Look at this acceleration and transition with Jalen Green, boom, getting past him right to the bucket. Just way faster and way more speed than everybody else. Last episode with Kate Cunningham, I talked about how about 90% of college players get caught watching on defense during games and stuff like that and aren't the most attentive. And although Jalen Green did play in the G League, he is a part of that as well. And he's not the most attentive guy on defense, and that's something he needs to work on to become a complete player. Right here, let's just watch Jalen Green just getting, just watching on defense for real and not coming over to help. And watch him just get beat off the dribble right here. He's about to be on him and just lets him go right past him. Like, yep. A little bit too easy. Got to get better at that. But... Besides that, Jalen Green has a lot of potential to be really good in the passing lanes with his athleticism and how good he is in transition as well. Look at him right here. Just a little move and gets fouled. Great job. All right, guys. This is all I got for you guys today. If you like this type of content, go and like yourself on the video if you haven't already. Like I said, I'm going to be mock picking on these um, Fit and Films videos. I may put a couple picks together as we get more along. But for these first couple picks, it's just going to be one pick after one pick after one pick. So if you like this type of content, go ahead and sub on the channel and be coming out with these. Maybe uh, as we get closer to the draft, two a week. But I I'm pushing it towards more one a week because I got a lot more content throughout the week that I'm going to be having for y'all. So like I said, go ahead up to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.